All right, can I get the next person in line, please? Hello, how are you today? Is this your passport? Okay, let me just take a look inside. Have you ever been banned from a country before? And where are you traveling to today? Argentina, what brings you there? All the way to South America? I heard there's exotic fruit there. Well, I'll be honest with you. There is a little bit of fruit, but what there's more of is people who might steal things from you. So just be careful, okay? So let's just go ahead and make sure that your passport is all good, which I think it is. So let's just go ahead and set that down. All right, so you've got a jacket here, I see. Can I just take a look at your jacket? I'm just gonna make sure that there's nothing in it. Is it okay if I unzip? Okay, perfect. Just gonna take a quick look here. All right, so you've got a few pockets. Let me just take my light here to see what we've got going on, okay? Might be a little bit bright, so just relax. I'm just trying to figure out what is um, going on with your jacket here. It's actually pretty nice, Lululemon. Are you a wealthy person? You make lots of money? Mm, okay, well, uh, how do you get the money? Well, you have a job, a business. What do you sell? Are you serious? How do you make money doing that? That is just the weirdest thing. I have never heard of anybody selling giraffes before. How on earth does that work? Like, how do you even transport them? <laughs> That is the weirdest thing. Oh, they're they're just toy giraffes. Okay, gotcha. Well, that makes sense. Okay, well, let me just see. I think I find something in your... I think I'm finding something in your pocket here. So, I need you to just put your arms up for me if you could. Are you able to do that for me? Okay, perfect. Just to see here. We've got quite a few zippers. Um, I didn't know Lululemon made jackets like this with like 50 zippers. Oh, okay. I think I finally... Uh, finally... Oh, here we go, a rooster. Oh, okay, are you working on roosters too? Okay, well, um, this one looks pretty good. You know, you could maybe, maybe a little bit more detail. Yeah, all right, let's just put that down, okay, because I'm not really sure if you're weird or not. So let's just keep going and get this over with. Um, could you just relax for me? I think I found something else. A scissor, hmm, what would the reason be for a scissor? You know, these are quite harmful, right? Right, right, like you could, you know, just like chop, 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 you know, chop, chop, chop. Does that make sense? All right, well, I have, to, I have to confiscate this from you, unfortunately, but we're just not going to do that anymore, right? Okay, just make sure that you don't do that anymore. Okay, don't ever bring scissors across the border. The next time you do that, you might be, um, you know, imprisoned. Yeah, okay, we're just going to try to avoid that here today because I want you to have a good day, okay? You seem like a nice person. All right, so it looks like there's nothing else left in this pocket. Right. Um, but I did see a pocket here as well, so what have we got going on here? Are you gonna tell me what it is or do you want me to just find it? You know, because things could get a little crazy if you don't just tell me really quick. If you could just tell me really quick and I could just figure it out. I would know, you know. Alright, well, alright, you don't wanna talk. You got the mouth all zipped up. Your mouth is zipped up, you, you closed your mouth, okay. A look oh it's hard to take out of the pocket oh wow what is this oh a lighter okay can you just follow the lighter with your eyes really quick just want to make sure it's your lighter hmm is this your lighter keep following with your eyes keep following just ignore the um just ignore the light okay all right this does look like it is yours it has your uh name written all over it yeah, so we're just going to put that to the side and hope we don't find anything else. Um, I might be able to talk them out of, uh, you know, cuffing you and taking you to the back if you're really nice to me. Okay, just, just, just relax while I just make sure. I'm just, I'm just going to take a look. Just take a look at your, I'm just going to take a look at your scalp here. Could you just relax for me? Um, you know, like, try not to move at all because, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that there's nothing hidden, right? Because if there is, you know, like... I already said that many times. I already, you already know what could happen, okay? Okay, so let me just take a look behind your ears. I'm just gonna have a feel of your ears. Can you uh, just let me know? Does that hurt at all? Okay, I'm just gonna take a look inside. I'm just gonna take a look inside the ear. Okay, I don't see anything in particular. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move you there. Are you okay? Okay, okay. Let me just take a look inside this ear. Can you hear me? 
Okay, I might have to do a really quick ear swab if that's okay. All right, we're just gonna be swabbing the ear really quick. Okay, so just gonna go ahead and swab the ear. into my little vial here okay and we'll send this on over um, to the lab just to make sure that there was nothing inside your ear okay all right we're just going to move on to the torso here so just checking your torso just to make sure that there's nothing no extra hidden pockets that i am uh, not noticing right off the bat so i'm just trying to see if i can find anything that should be Okay, so I don't see any hidden pockets or anything. Um, can you just uh, show me the sleeves here? I'm just taking a look at the sleeves. Okay. Like I said, Lululemon, really nice jacket. Absolutely love it. How much did you pay for it? And where did you get it? Okay, let me just see your other sleeve here. of the sleeve. There could be some residue on here. Take your fingernail DNA test as well in a bit. Just about done here. You're in a hurry? Oh, sorry. You probably didn't know you'd be caught up in uh, TSA. But it happens, it happens. And as long as you're good to go, as long as you're good to go, you will be fine, I promise. I'll make sure that you do not miss your plane, okay? All right, let me go ahead and do your back, okay? So let's just have you turn around for me. Okay, we're just gonna do your back, just turn around. I'm just gonna lift your hair here, okay? Okay, and then your neck area. And then your back. Okay, I'm just gonna do a really quick swab of your legs, okay? Can you just widen your hips a little bit? Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to quickly do the bottoms of your feet. So just lift your feet up for me. Okay, and the other foot. Alright, so I'm going to be taking this over to the laboratory uh, just to see what kind of... Um, you know, uh, oops, I just hit myself in the face. Um, what kind of residue you've got on you, okay? So let me just go ahead and do that. All right, so just making sure that you've got nothing on you here. So I'm just gonna be patting down your arm. Okay, all right. Okay, so, all right, all right. So what I want you to do now is I just want you to remove that jacket, okay? All right, let me just help you take that jacket from you, okay? And I'm just gonna double check here just to make sure there's nothing in it. Yeah, I do see there's a little, um, there's a little, hmm, little pocket here. Okay, there's nothing in it, so that's good. Oh wow, you've got a, a pocket in the back. That's cool. I don't know what you would hide in there, but I guess we can just take a look. Hmm, okay. Alright, there's nothing. 
nothing in there, which, you know, would be smart, you know, because, I mean, it would look a little weird if you had anything in there. It'd be bulky and stuff. But. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put this jacket aside. Uh, you can put that back on after, so there you go. All right, so lift up your arms again, and I'm just going to double check here. So tap down your arms. Okay, on the other side, you can put that arm. We can put that arm down. Okay. Perfect. All right, you can put the arm down as well. I'm gonna check your check your torso area. Okay, and your chest. Look just by your shirt area here. Okay, I'm just gonna check your sleeves here. Okay, I'm just gonna check the sleeves here. Okay, it looks like you're good. Can you turn around so I can check your neck area? Perfect. Okay. And then do uh, pat your legs down, okay? Go ahead and do that. Okay, and your other leg. I will have you turn around so I can focus on the back of your legs. All right, turn around for me here. Thank you. Just checking your jeans here. Okay, all right. Can you take your shoes off for me, please? got quite interesting shoes yes what is the meaning of slippers are they um, are they sturdy enough okay I don't know I just I find them a little bit odd slippers for traveling <laughs> okay well you know you might as well be comfortable right but what would you do if all of a sudden the plane went down and um, you know like you were in the ocean or something do you think this would keep you warm well, no, 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 I understand. Flight anxiety is a thing, so, like, we can stop talking about that. I'm just saying, they say that you should wear, they say that you should wear, like, good shoes for travel, just in case. But I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> um, maybe you've got some real shoes in your, um, your bag. You could probably switch it up if you wanted to. Yeah, okay, here's this shoe back, okay? Can you just give me your other one? Okay, thank you so much. Good, 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 good. Let me just take a look at this one here. Okay. I'm just going to spray it just to make sure that there's nothing on it that I should be concerned about. Okay, it looks like we're good here. Mm hmm. Just a really quick dab or swab, I mean, just a quick swab. little stinky but mm, okay slippers are usually not going to be the um, you know the, the, you know the cleanest so okay so what else can i take a look at here what else can i take a look at i think i do need to take just a few samples of your skin okay so um what i'm gonna do is i'm first gonna spray you so that your sp skin becomes damp Just need a little bit of dampness to soften up the skin. Perfect, perfect. And then I'm just going to be taking a few samples, okay? Okay, 
Okay, and I do want to do um, just your chest area, and then I want you to put your fingers out so I can do your um, your fingernails, okay? All right, sounds good. Okay, let's just do your fingernails. Perfect. The other side. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, and then I do need a hair sample. Okay, I do need a hair sample. Um, so I'm just going to be cleaning this scalp. I'm just going to be cleaning the scalp just to see if there's any powder or anything that starts to fall off the scalp. Just checking in here. Okay, just let me take a look at my light. Okay, do you have a little bit of a dry scalp? Mm hmm. Do you wash your hair? Every day, every other day, at least, or, or no? Okay. You don't wash your hair, okay? You're one of those people. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, you know, we can do what we want, right? All right. So let me just do a really quick hair sample test. So what I'm going to be doing is using my tweezers to take a few samples of your hair, okay? Okay, and I'm just going to be parting your hair to the side here, so let me just do a really quick part of the hair so that I can get underneath, sort of like underneath right there, okay? Okay, I think I got it. Okay, just a few more samples. That should be good for the hair samples. And then I wanted to do a quick sample of the palm of your hand. So I'll just be scrubbing your palms and the other one, please. Good. And then I'm going to measure um, your fingers really quick. So just give me your finger. The other side. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually move on to a full body measuring assessment this is going to be for your portfolio that we create for you okay and so what i'd like for you to do is just stand tall uncross your legs okay and just have your arms out like this and i'm just going to start by measuring the um, shoulders to the torso okay and then your forehead good your forehead okay and then the shoulders Torso here, okay, and then just your shoulders. Okay, perfect. And then just the circumference of your head. Okay, so let's just see the circumference of your head. I do have another measuring tape here just to confirm that the measurements were correct. Alright, I'm 
have you put your arms up. I'm going to measure from arm to arm. Hand to hand. Okay, and then from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. To the top of the head to the tip of the toes. From the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Perfect. 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 Okay, and now I do need to do uh, just two more things before you go. One is a quick photo of you. All right, so just smile for me. Okay, now just wave like this. Just a really quick wave. Smile wider. Okay, you're happy. Okay, good. And just look over here. Look over here for me. All right. Okay, I need you to like look a little happier because you know people usually you know real, I'm like the best agent here, like the funnest, you know. So you know when your picture goes up, I want them to know that you had a great time with me. <laughs> okay, can you smile? Look over here. Smile. Okay, good, good, good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Mm -hmm. Look at a few different angles of you. Oh, you look really, really nice actually. Yes, you have a nice smile. Yes, you do. You really do. Yes. Okay. And let me just get the sides. And then I just need to go behind you, okay? You just need to get a little quick picture of me, your hair, everything. Okay. All right. I think that these look good, actually. Yeah, I think that they're going to be so, so happy to see these, honestly. They'll be convinced. They're always convinced. <laughs> Okay, last thing. So um, I saw on your paperwork here that you did not have your updated um, shots. Yes, um, the Hep C, Hep, Hep Two, Hep One, um, and a few other ones, Corona, um, Type Two, and Type Three. So since I am, you know, a doctor as well. But you didn't see that one coming. Um, I'm gonna have to just give you a few of those uh, so that you can enter the country. Does that make sense? Like sometimes you just have to be updated, especially on tuberculosis. You didn't have that one as well. There's going to be about 10 of them, okay? So I am just going to disinfect the premises. It will be on this arm here. So let me just grab my quick alcohol swab and we'll get started. Okay, so let's just move your sleeve up a little bit. So we'll just move your sleeve up so that your arm is available. Okay, and I'm just gonna add the alcohol. It's like alcohol swab. Ooh, I love the smell of alcohol. Okay, all right, are you ready? Okay, so I'm just pumping up my syringe here and just need to clean off the area. All right, are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. I was only able to do a few of those. So now we're gonna do the other arm. So let's just go ahead and do the other arm. Okay, and just use the alcohol swab here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And then clean it up, clean up the area. Okay, let me just double check to make sure that the area is clean. Okay, are you ready? Take a deep breath in. Okay, and just to finish things off, I am just going to make sure that your heartbeat, your heart rate, and your lungs are working perfectly. Um, so let me just check that really quick. Okay, so just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and hold, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, and I just need to check your temperature to make sure you don't have a fever. Okay, so let's go ahead and check your temperature just to make sure that you don't have a fever. We don't want you to bring any infections or anything to our country here. Okay. All right, looks like you are at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just below a fever. Um, but I think you should be good. Yeah, okay. 
All right, so um, here's your jacket. Okay, take that. Here's your passport. Okay, and have a safe flight. Hey, how are you? How's your day going so far? Pretty good? Is it nighttime there or is it the morning time? Okay, well, can you do me a favor? Can you just look at my nose? I'm just examining you really quickly. Yes, I'm just trying to see if I can find, just to, 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 to try to see if I can find anything in particular that, um, that, um, that stands out. Yes, just a quick, quick examination. Yes, yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the temperature really quickly. Okay. Can you count to five for me? Okay, and you just relax for me. I'm just gonna give you a couple um, numbing shots in your mouth. It looks like they do need to do a cavity fill. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by removing the cavity. Okay. All right, can you stick your tongue out for me? Okay, very good. I'm just gonna make sure we numb the tongue. Actually, I forgot to put my gloves on. Is it okay with you if I do that really quick? Sorry about that. I promise there was no germs that went into your mouth. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a few injections to numb your mouth. It looks like we do need to give you. It looks like we do need to give you a little filling right here. Okay, so just say ah oh, for me, please. Ooh, <laughs> just say ah oh, for me, please. Okay. All right, we're just gonna brush your teeth there. So let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm just gonna brush those teeth. Hi, you're good to go. Can you identify the animal? Mm-hmm, good, okay. And keep your eyes open, just look at the animal. Yes, look at the bird, look at the bird, look at the bird. Good, now name the bird. Okay, name the bird, okay, very good. All right, you want the bird? Okay, here you go. Hi, yes. Did you say that you're here because you wanted the job opportunity? Okay. And how many years of experience do you have? Okay. What country are you from? Okay. Do you eat strawberries? Oh, no. No, no reason. Yeah, well, I had a few strawberries here for you that I was going to give you just in case you wanted them. All right, there you go. You just hold still for me. I need to get rid of some of the hair on your chest. Yes, I'm just going to make the hair wet there. Okay, just going to, be, just going to be removing some of that hair. Yes, tell me a little bit about um, how you got this here. Just randomly started growing. Mm, interesting. Okay, well, I think I got it all. All right, and I'd like for you to count how many numbers you see. And now, how about now? How about now? Okay, and then count the numbers and the fingers. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, you're doing amazing. Right, what animal is this? What shape is this? What fruit is this? What animal is this? What fruit is this? What fruit is this? And what animal is this? I'm just gonna have you go ahead and tell me what color this is. Very good, very good, very good. And what color is this? Exactly, and what color is this? Exactly, exactly, what color is this? Exactly, and this color here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good. You're doing great. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very good. Okay, click. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm just going to be showing you all these smiley faces. Now there's one smiley face missing. Can you please just point to the missing smiley face? Okay, and now count the smiley faces. Okay, count them. Count them. Count them. 84. Are you keeping up so far? Okay, well that's good. Very good. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to count the dots, of course, and then I want you to tell me how many times I am clicking as well. So let's just say, for example, three, that's five. One, that's three. Three, that's five. Five, that's seven. Okay, makes sense? Let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to be doing your makeup really quick. Yeah, um, you had requested that, right? Mm-hmm. 
right there, then no worries. We'll make it look really good. Make it look really good, I promise. And then just a little bit of mascara. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, good, good, good. Can you look at the paintbrush while I do this? Okay, just look at the paintbrush, okay? All right, perfect. And while you're there, okay, keep looking at the paintbrush. Just ignore the, just ignore the, um, the stapler, okay? Just look at the paintbrush. Ignore the stapler. Good, very good, very good. Now follow the paintbrush. Mm hmm. Follow the paintbrush. Okay, and just keep following it, keep following it, keep following it, keep following. Okay, and just ignore the injections here. Just numbing your face. Good. Keep looking at the paintbrush. Okay, perfect. How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? How about now? Okay. And if you could just stand straight for me, I'm going to be giving you just a couple of um, laser beam zaps to warm you up, um, just because you look so cold. Yeah. So let's just check your temperature again. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Okay. And can you just look over here? We're just checking your oxygenation or your temperatureization. Okay, the temperature looks pretty good. Can I have your finger? Thank you so much. We're just checking your oxygenation now. Yes, it's, it's brilliant. Um, no scares there, yes. Okay, so a quick hearing test might, might do. Yeah, so can you just tell me, did you hear that? How about that? Very good, can you guess the sound? Can you guess that sound? Okay, how about this? Can you guess the sound? Okay, and how about this? Can you guess the sound? Okay, how about this? Did you guess that sound? Okay, and then this. What does this sound like to you? Hmm? What does that sound like? Hmm, good, okay. All right, we're going to do a really quick color test. So what I need you to do is just tell me what color you see. We're going to do this quite quickly, so let's get started. Very good. Very good. Three more left. Blue. Gray. Pink. You just hold still for me. Could you just hold still for me? Yes, yes, just hold still. Um, you got a few nose hairs here that are sort of just like hanging like really long. Like just kind of um make sure that I you know help you out and get rid of them for you. You know, a friend looking out for a friend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um is it okay if I just is it okay if I actually um is it okay if I just spray them? Can you just look at my eyes if you don't know what to do? Okay, look at my nose. Okay, now look off camera. Just look off camera. Perfect. Just gonna exfoliate your face. Hmm, it looks like that didn't really work. Let's try a different way of exfoliating. Hmm, okay. It looks like it worked, but your heart is beating pretty, pretty rapidly. I can see it, yeah. <laughs> Let's do a really quick examination. Just relax. I'm just gonna feel your forehead. Okay, breathe in for me. Breathe out. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hmm. Hold. Three seconds. Okay. It looks like um you have an irregular heartbeat. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what is going on with you. Have you gotten your blood tested recently? Okay, well, well um, I think that this eye exam that we're just about to do will actually answer all the questions. So, um, can you see, can you see this number here? Okay, just let me know what that is. Good, what's this number right here? How about this? What number is this? What number is this? What number is this? Okay, now tell me if the paintbrush is coming closer to you or further away. Very good. Okay, what number is this? What number is this? What number is this? What number is this? Okay, now just let me know um, if it's closer or further. Good. Okay, 
And I've got two different sensations. We have sensation one, we have sensation two. One, two. Close your eyes and tell me which one you feel. Okay, now tell me which one you hear. One or two. Okay. Okay, very good. So it seems to me like um, I need. All right, and then I do need to do. And then I do need to do just a few um, samples of your hair, okay? So, um, if you could just relax for me, just a few samples here. The more I get, the better, really. <laughs> okay, and then a few samples of your skin, is that all right with you? Oh, no specific reason you stumbled into this office and we always have to keep tabs on everybody who comes in it's no uh no harm done just a couple of samples of your face 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 just a couple of hmm okay all right so do you see this this here popsicle stick hmm okay I'd like for you to follow the popsicle stick okay so if you could just focus on the popsicle stick as I look into your eyes mm-hmm okay all right now tell me which one is closer to you the popsicle stick or the light mm -hmm. okay okay very good which one's closer to you which one's closer? Which one's closer? Okay, so um, you wanted a tattoo. Yes. Which one would you like? We've got quite a few options. Mm hmm So strawberry scented, okay? All right, just let me know if that smells good enough for you. The scent stays forever. Mm hmm And so does that tattoo, so choose wisely. We've got an orange fish, an orange, and a hat. Which one would you like? Mm hmm Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one? Great choice, honestly. So, um, just pucker up your lips because you said lip tattoo. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. You'll always be able to smell because it it's close to your nose. All right, just relax for me, okay? I'm just going to be tattooing your lip. Any pain? Any discomfort? Oh, you wanted some more numbing? Actually, I didn't numb you at all. Sorry about the pain. Let me just numb you really quick. Feel better? Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Do you feel this? Do you feel? Oh no. Okay. Well, then this should not hurt at all. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do that. You know, this is gonna look really good on you. I think honestly, you're gonna get lots of compliments. I think people are really gonna like it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they will. No, I think orange is the perfect color. Yeah. Finding Nemo. Yes. I mean, it looks similar, right? No. <laughs> Maybe a little. Okay. Mm. All right. We're done now. <laughs> So, uh, it takes about two weeks for a recovery. Mm -hmm. So let me just wrap some, and I'm just going to be putting um, some plastic on there, just so that you, um, so that, um, you have all the time in the world to heal properly. Okay, all right. Oh, you wanted me. Okay, we're ready for your follow-up appointment, and I'm just going to be taking the plastic off. Yes. Off. Wow, your tattoo looks amazing. Yes, uh, let me just do a little touch up here. Just do a little touch up. Ooh, wow, have you been getting lots of compliments? Hmm, well, um, this will help for sure just to, just to make sure that um, you don't have any scarring or anything. Perfect, yes. All right, well, let me know if you ever want another tattoo because I am the best of the best. We all know that. <laughs> what 
animalists. Okay, good job, good job, good job. And can you tell me what this smells like? Mm hmm And does the animal match the color of the scented glue stick, would you say? Would you say it matches or it's sort of off? Okay. Would you say that this smells like watermelon or strawberry? Hmm, interesting. Can you just stick out your tongue for me? Mm -hmm. Just a few, just a few really quick pierce things. Yeah, it's just a few. Um, just about 10 of them. Can I just double check them? Mm -hmm. Just a few pictures here. Oh yes, they look lovely. Yes, they do. Can you count how many, um, how many circles you see? Okay. And how about now? Okay, how about now? Just ignore the globe. Just ignore the globe. How many do you see now? How about now? Just ignore that globe there. Just kidding. Look at the globe. Look at the globe. Look at the globe. Just follow the globe wherever it goes. Okay. Can I get the next person? Can I get the next person in line? Hi, how are you? You're here for your pat down. Mm. What brings you into um, Florida? Yeah, you're flying all the way from uh, Thailand. And you have a Canadian passport. Yeah, nothing's really adding up. You're you're gonna you're gonna be needed uh, to sit here for a little bit for a TSA pat down. Um, so what I need you to do is just relax because I do see that you have um, you have quite a few explosives on you. Yes, this being one of them. Terrifying. Let's just get rid of that. Pretend like I didn't see it. Yeah. Pretend like it wasn't there. And then you have this behind your ear. What is this? Some sort of chemical that you're trying to smother into the country. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll pretend like I don't see that one either. I might have to arrest you. And you know what happens after that. Okay. So, um, could you just put your arms up for me? I'm just gonna be patting you down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pat, 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 pat. Have you ever been patted down before, Pat? By your name. By the way, your name is Pat. By the way, I didn't know that your name was Pat until I saw it. Pat down Pat? Okay, well, interesting. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I would say that that's quite interesting. Yes. Um, did you know that sometimes TSA agents give people haircuts? Yeah, I didn't know that either until one time I was traveling and all of a sudden I was bald. Yeah, and I didn't understand why. I was like, what are you doing? And they're like, well, we need to check your hair. And I said, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I've never heard of this in my life. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what they did? They banned me from the United States for like six months. Yeah, can you just look at my fingers here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How's your eyesight? Do you wear glasses, contacts? Can you just look over here, please? Do you wear contacts or glasses? Look at my nose, please, okay? Look at my fingers again. All right, so I do need to just do a few, um, you know, a few tests. Open your mouth and you make sure you got nothing in your teeth because you know what people hide there. Just a bunch of liquid nitrogen. And I don't even want to get started with what that can do. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna brush your teeth to make sure that there's um, no cavities. Yeah, because you could have your cavities filled, and well, just imagine what you can do with filled cavities. Um, you know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, off topic. How old are you? Okay. Do you see this? Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. Do you hear this? Okay. Okay. All right, um, spread your fingers. I'm gonna do a little bit of a, um, um, an examination. Sorry, I can't really grab my device here. Yeah, so just um, just spread your fingers here. Just a really quick test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Traffic is crazy today. Traffic is just wild today. Okay, well, you know, everything was suspicious about you, but because I'm a nice person, I'm just gonna let you go ahead and just like skedaddle away, okay? We're just gonna chill, I didn't even see you today. All right, okay. Thanks for coming, <laughs> or thanks for traveling. Or, um, yeah, here's your pet, there you go. Hello, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Katharina, and I'll be performing your ear exam and hearing test today. Let me go ahead and take just a few notes here. So tell me a little bit about your ears. Have they been hurting you at all? Okay. Have you been having any tinnitus, any ringing or buzzing in the ears recently? Okay. Does the ringing in the ears get worse at night? Any pain or discomfort?
on a scale of one to 10, what would it be at this moment right now? Okay. Now, is the discomfort inside the ear canal or is it outside of the ear? Both? Okay. And how often do the shooting pains occur? Is it all day, every day, or does it come and go? Okay. And are you currently wearing any hearing aids? And have you ever had surgery on your ears? Okay. And do you clean your ears regularly? Okay. So it's been a while. Okay, do you own a Q-tip? Okay. I'll definitely put that in my notes for you to take home to learn how to use those. You do have to be careful that they are really good for ear cleaning, even though they weren't originally made for that. Um, but we do recommend just a little swab every day just to keep up with the earwax. Okay, so we can definitely go ahead and get started. What I'll do is I'm just going to be putting my clipboard away. And then I'll just be putting on some gloves for sanitation purposes. to do a really quick assessment of your vital signs and so for this I'll just have you just relax for me okay breathe in okay breathe out okay. and breathe in and good. just checking this side breathe in and breathe out. Check with the bell here. And breathe in. And hold for three seconds. Good. Breathe out. Perfect. Breathe in. And hold for three seconds. Very good. Breathe out. Okay. Your lungs and your heart sound perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do next is move on to just checking your oxygenation levels as well as your temperature. And so I'm just going to be putting this on your forehead. If you could just hold still. Okay. 96.9. And I'll be checking your oxygenation. Can I just have your finger? Perfect. Just let that sit for a little bit. All right, oxygenation is 98% and beats per minute is 80, which is within the normal range. I am going to start with having a feel of your ears. So I'm just going to be moving the hair behind your ears so that I can expose them Having a feel of the top of the ear. The skin looks healthy. I don't see any dryness. I'm just pulling up any pain. Okay. And I'm just going to be pulling back. Any discomfort there. And then having a feel of the earlobe here. I do see you do have a piercing. Let me see. Okay, it looks like it has healed well. Does that hurt at all? Okay. I'm just going to be pulling back and then pulling up. Any pain? Good. Okay. 
And just a quick look inside of the ear canal. Just observing the outer skirts of the ear canal. No dryness or any signs of scabbing or infection or swollen areas. Okay, very good. Just a really quick look behind the ear. Just gonna pull the ear back. Just tapping on the backbone of your ear. Any pain? Okay. Let me go ahead and move to the other side. Okay, so just having a really quick observation. And just looking at the top here, top of the ear. Do you have any discomfort? Okay. And moving down to the middle. A squeeze of the cartilage. Is that sensitive at all? Okay. And then the earlobe. There's a piercing here as well. Looks like it did heal healthy as well. How long ago did you have these done? Okay. They definitely look really, really good. And I'm just having a look at the inner corner here. Any discomfort as I pull? Okay, I'm just going to be pulling up. Okay, any pain? And then pulling the ear back. Okay, does that feel okay? Okay, and then I'm just going to be pulling the ear down just a little bit. Any discomfort there? Mm -hmm. Okay, and just having a feel of the backbone. Behind the ear, I'm just going to be pulling the ear forward here and just having a look at the back bone here. I don't see any dryness or scabbing, no signs of an infection. Just a really quick look inside the ear canal. Okay, looks really good from my initial assessment. Um, what I'm going to do is take my autoscope to have a look at the um, ear canal, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. So, if you could just relax while I just take a look. I'm just going to be pulling the ear back, okay? Alright. Alright, so I do see that the ear canal is intact doesn't seem to have ever been um, disrupted at all at any point. There's no um, ruptured eardrums, so your eardrums look very healthy. I'm just going to try to get this a little bit deeper inside your ear, okay? So I'm just going to get this just a little bit deeper. There we go, there we go. Okay, now I can see a little more. I do see that the tympanic membrane is up pearly grayish color which is normal and it is a normal in size as well. I do see quite a bit of earwax. I see um, actually quite a bit so I could see where the tinnitus and the ringing would come from. I'm just going to be looking this way here. Okay. Yes. All right. I think we'll definitely be able to go ahead and get rid of uh, mostly all the earwax. It might need a little bit of excessive washing, so we'll definitely go ahead and do that. Looks very doable. And then just a quick look on the corner here, on the outskirts, okay. Just running this around the ear canal just to make sure that I'm getting every last angle. Very good. Alright, let me go ahead and observe the other side, okay? And so, I'll just have you move your head in just a little bit, if you could, just a little bit. Okay, perfect. And let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so, can you hear this? Okay, I do see quite a bit more earwax than I had originally seen in the other ear. And so I think we'll need quite an extensive wash here as well. I'm just trying 
to see if I can find the tympanic membrane here. And I just need to move this up a little bit here to see with my light here. Okay, I did see it. I do see it here, yes. Um, the tympanic membrane is a little harder to see on this side, though. I think it's because of all the earwax that I see. This ear might have been clogged up for you for a while since, um, you know, you were telling me about your tinnitus. And I definitely think we can clear up the tinnitus if we just, if we just clean this out, okay? And just making sure I'm seeing all sides. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So I think having a clear ear canal is going to help with the buzzing and the ringing, as I had said. So what I'd like to do is go ahead with my procedure, which starts off with just a little bit of a swish of water in your ear canal, and it should really help things. What I'm gonna do first is just oil up your ears so that we can get the earwax sort of softened up, okay? So I just have my olive oil here. Feel a little bit of a cold sensation, but it should be actually a little soothing. Okay, good. Move on to the other ear. should be comfortable for you as well. Okay, very good. I'm gonna let that oil sit for just a minute. I did get a little bit um, on the side of your ear, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. we're letting the oil settle. I'm going to help it a little bit. I'm going to help it along a little bit. So what I'm going to do is use one of my little tools here just to see if we can start with a few of those big chunks. So just to see if I can try to grab a few of those doing okay? Good. Let me know if you feel any discomfort, okay? Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit stubborn on this side, so we'll just let that settle in. And to get ears checked every year, if you can, every six months. But we'll go ahead and fix you up today. Okay. Alright, I think we gave it a little head start there. What I'd like to do though is just see. 
see if I can find um, a little area that might might loosen up with my little pick here. So let's just go ahead and see. Okay, we do see, I do see the earwax loosening up a little bit. It's great, actually. This oil works really, really quick. It's incredible. Let me check the other side here. Oh yeah, definitely loosening. Okay, perfect. Just scraping the edges. bit of a chunk there that I think will come out with my um, little water bottle spray. Okay, so let me just set this up. We'll dilute the water into the ear with my cleaning kit. So I'm just going to add this. And this is going to go inside might tickle you a little bit, but it should be okay. And I'm just going to be putting this by your ear here, just so that um, the water can come back into a little container instead of on the floor. <laughs> okay, so let me just go ahead and get started. Just put this in your ear, okay? Okay, it looks like it's in, and now it's going to be some warm water swooshing into your ears. Okay, does that feel okay? Oh, I see quite a few chunks coming out of your ears. This is definitely working. Okay. All right, let's take a little bit of a break with that. And let me just wipe the outer ear since some of the water was coming out. using one of my tools here for my little tool kit. Okay. And this right here will get rid of those big pieces. Does that feel okay? Okay, I'm just going to be going a little bit more inside the ear, so it's going to be just a little bit more abrasive, but it won't hurt. Okay, there's a big chunk. I'm just going to wipe that off on the cloth here. Very good. This is working perfectly.
another chunk there. And I think just a few more little pieces here. Okay, I do, uh, I do see one that might need a little help with one of my tools, so... Wonderful. I think I got that last piece on this side. Let me just go ahead and take a look with my autoscope just to be sure. Okay, let me just take a look here. Oh, yes, definitely. Wonderful. Looking is so much better. But I am just going to get a little bit of residue with my ear pump here. Perfect. Yes, this is looking so much better. So, so, so much better. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side. Have a look and see how the oil is breaking up the earwax. Okay, this looks just about ready for us to move ahead with the ear wash. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is put this on this ear here so that the water doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so I've got the bottle ready. Just making sure that the bottle is ready for us. Same thing with this side. This will just go in your ear like this. Okay, so let me just put that in your ear. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get started. a big piece of earwax come out, so this is working just as planned. Alright, I saw quite a few chunks come out there, so I'm just going to go wipe that away. And just dry off the side of the ear here. side and see what the progress looks like. Oh yes, we definitely see a big difference. Oh yes, I definitely see a big difference, but I do need to just get a few of those um, chunks that are in there with my tool. work really well, just like it did with the other ear. Okay, let me just take a look here. So I'm just going to be wiping this off. Okay, and I'm going to do just a little bit of a deeper dive, just like I did earlier. Just so I can try to make sure. 
sure that I get every last bit. So your ears are completely clean now. I don't see an ounce of earwax. We're going to move on to your hearing test just to make sure that you can hear properly. And I just want to make sure that your tinnitus has decreased. So what I'm going to do with the tinnitus assessment is I just want you to close your eyes, okay? Just relax, breathe normal. I want you to tell me which ear you hear the finger fluttering, okay? Let's get started. Okay, you can open your eyes. Go ahead and tell me if you could hear the tinnitus while we were doing the test. It's much better. Okay, very good. I'll have you close your eyes again. Okay, this time I want you to tell me if you hear the sound moving closer to you or further away. Okay. Good. Good. Very good there. That was accurate. I'd like to do a really quick guessing game. So I'll have you tell me what the sound is from what you hear, what the sound is. Okay? So I'm going to have you close your eyes again. I'll let you hear it one more time. It is an empty spray bottle. That is correct, yes. Okay, I'm going to do another guessing game. Go ahead and tell me what this sounds like. Move it to the other ear. Back to the other ear. Yes, that was a misting sound, the sound of water, mist. Yes, very good. Can you guess what this sound is? Stapler. Mm -hmm. You're doing amazing so far. I have two more sounds. Go ahead and tell me what this sounds like. I would say that's a clicking sound as well, yes. Okay, and then the last guess. Good. Very 
puff of air. Yes, a puff of air. That's correct. Very good. Okay, so I have some water globes here. Okay. They make a sound. Do you hear this? Okay. Do you hear this? And this. Very good. Now, every time you hear that sound, I just want you to say yes. Okay. Now I want you to tell me if you hear it on your right ear or your left. Doing great. Or if you hear it on the both sides. Okay, you're doing so good. All right, I have a little roller here. It's going to make this sound right here. Hear it on both sides. Great. Now, if you could just tell me which ear you hear it, okay? Exactly. Perfect. That was 100% correct. Have you ever seen a tuning fork? Okay. It makes this sound. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Okay. I'm going to show you one or two. And I want you to tell me which one is louder. I'm just going to put the first one right by the bone of your ear. The second one close to your ear, okay? Let's get started. One or two. Which one was louder? Good. Which one was louder? Let's do that again. Which one was louder? And again. Okay, yes. Very good. You are in the clear. I don't think that there's anything else that I can really help you with. Um, the ear exam has been absolutely wonderful. All of the earwax is now in this little cup. I'm going to be discarding this right away here, making sure that we get rid of it. I'm going to disinfect and sanitize everything. And just one little wipe of the ear here. Just want to make sure there's no residue of any kind. Do you have work or anything like that after this? sure that no one will be able to tell that you had an ear exam. Okay, I just got a little bit of a little bit of water on your on your eyes. Let me just get rid of that. Okay. Well, um, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for entrusting me with your ear cleaning and ear exam. If you ever would like to come back to my clinic, you're more than welcome to.